now from the newsroom, Scarlett. Jonathan and Melinda, it's a Fox 26 exclusive interview with the 11-year-old boy involved and his family. They tell us they're afraid to let him go back to school. This is America. Everybody has the right to their own opinion, and they shouldn't be beat up for it. But just a day after Donald Trump was elected president, that's exactly what happened to an 11-year-old boy at Stafford Elementary School. These boys decided um, to ask the classroom who voted for Donald Trump because a few weeks ago they made a mock election for the president. And then they, I, I said, I voted for I did. And then they come over here and started and, and jerked me out of my seat. And then they started, before I, I, was, before I could turn up, um, get up, they started kicking me and punching me. He tells us the classroom did have a teacher present, but it felt like he was on the ground forever. Why did it take so long for it to be stopped? Mary and Buddy Lemon say they received a call from the principal immediately after the incident. We went and, and made statements to the police officers and, and then I took him to the emergency rooms. Lemon says her son has deep bruises throughout his body. Are you afraid to go back to class? Yes, ma'am. After speaking with Stafford MSD, they tell us in a statement the students allegedly involved in the altercation have been suspended pending an investigation. I know we've had we've been very opinionated on, on this election, but one thing I never I've, I've never said anything to the point where I would um, incite violence. My son didn't have a mean bone in his body. They say they hope their story encourages parents to speak to their children on how to be compassionate and accepting towards those that believe differently. That's what America is about. <laughs> That's what the election process is about. We had to respect the last year or the last election revolt results, and I feel like everybody needs to respect this election results. For the full statement from Stafford MSD, you can go to fox26houston.com. We'll keep you updated on the pending investigation on the students who were involved. In the newsroom, Scarlett Fakar, Fox 26 News.